Okay, folks, we're back again to do another unboxing of comics for the shop this week. I'm going to start with Lunar. We got box inside a box with bubble wrap. I have taken the bubble wrap already to ship a package. Finally sold that 9.8 graded third, fourth print Venom variant. Yeah, anyways, here we go. Starting with the Lunar, we have Vintage Pre-Code Horror Vampires. Let's take a look at this. This sucker looks pretty good. It's by Asylum Press. Pretty sure it's like Golden Age reprints. Yes, would have to be to be pre-code, right? This looks pretty cool. Only got two of them. One for me and one for whoever else. Invoice. Sorry, not going on, not going on, on the screen right now. My bad. Rick and Morty. The Science of Summer. Number one. So it's a number one, even though we know what's inside because it looks like Rick and Morty. Here's the interior. I don't know, I guess it could be a little different than usual. Anyhow, uh, Dawn of DC Night Terror is number four. Dawn of DC Night Terrors, number four variant cover, which is cardstock tappy tappy it's got the neon colors probably glows under a black light batman the adventure continue adventures continue season three number seven batman beyond neo-gothic number two let me adjust here ah oh, there's more night terrors number four that there DC Ruby number seven tappy tappy cardstock variant and here is the regular cover for DC Ruby number seven and back to the box we go grab a nice book. yeah oh yeah Batman Brave and the Bold, number four. I got four of these. That's supposed to be some kind of key issue, first appearance of somebody, I think. Uh, Night Terrors, Harley Quinn, number two. I just got a couple of those. That's probably not enough, but whatever. Night Terrors, Detective Comics, number two. Night Terrors Angel Breaker, number two. Night Terrors Action Comics, you guessed it, number two. Okay, we've got Dark Knight of Steel, number 12 of 12. Seems like that's been running for way too long. DC Connect Catalog. Go to your comic shop, get one of those. You'll know what DC Comics are coming up. You can pre-order and save the comic shop a lot of guesswork. Doom Patrol, number five. The unstoppable Doom Patrol, that is. That's regular cover. Here we go. The Penguin, number one. This is a cardstock variant. A tappy tappy. And we should have regular cover. We'll look at inside when that happens. Uh, Night Terror's Harley Quinn, number one. That's cardstock. Tappy Tappy. And uh, that's a really good cover. So there's that. Oh, good. Here's more copies of the regular cover for that. Remember a long time ago when I said I didn't have enough copies? Now I do. And the rest, I believe, to be Penguin. P 
Penguin. The Penguin. Number one. That is a cardstock variant. Tappy. Tappy. Look at that one. I like that one a lot. That is cardstock. A Tappy Tappy is a cardstock variant. And Penguin number one, regular cover. Let's take a look inside. So that's your art in Penguin number one. And here we have last for the DC Lunar Distribution Order, Night Terrors Titans number two. So that does it for Lunar. Let's move on to Penguin Random House. Wait. Wah. Okay, Penguin Random House. I don't know. I don't know why I did that. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Yeah. Invoice. Oh, well. This was a mailer. I don't know if it was on. Oh, wow. These are damage replacements. X-Men number 25. That was out a couple weeks ago. Just getting the damage replacements. Uh, should be fine. Haven't had very many customers. They won't even notice that it was late. Box inside a box. With the corner still exposed. Stop doing that, Penguin. Mwah. Okay. unboxing stuff is a lot of work okay got your revolutionary technology three of these boxes huge shipment for the week when i say huge for us huge it's huge for us it's not huge for large comic shops which we are not gene gray number one it is a george perez variant so let's take a second to soak that in Pause if necessary. Jean Grey number one, George Perez variant. Planet of the Apes number five. I'm pretty sure I've stopped carrying that title, although I still have one. Marvel Unleashed number one. And I believe this is the Pets comic. There's Lockjaw, Thor Frog. Falcon, Falcon, Craven the Hunter's involved. So yeah, we got a book about superhero dogs. Hooray. Daredevil Echo, number four. Daredevil and Echo. X-Force, number 43. Deadpool. Number 10. Captain America. Finale. Number one. It's kind of a strange thing to say. Finale number one. But anyway, we'll look inside. Here's your art. In Captain America. Finale. Number one. And it's got a cool Modoc face on the cover. Gene Gray, number one. This is the regular cover. Gene Gray, number one. It's a good cover. Here's the art in Gene Gray, number one. Okay. Still plenty more comics to unbox. Venom. They're all facing the wrong direction. Give me just a second. And Venom, number 24. I guess Dr. Doom is Venom now, maybe. 
realm of X. Number one, we'll take a look inside as I complain about too many X-Men books. I just don't have room on the shelf for them. I do have one customer that buys all of them, so I get a little bit of money when that happens. But uh, overall, not a fan of um, that many X-Men books. Fantastic Four Annual Number 1. That is a variant cover. Amazing Spider-Man. Number 32. Regular cover. Got more of those. Spider-Man, number 10, second printing. They're doing, seems like they're doing more second printings lately, so I've stopped speculating on quite so many of them. And of course, the ones that I don't get are going to be the ones. Stormbreaker variant for Amazing Spider-Man number 32. Uh, where's it say? Who did it? Huh. Oh. Stormbreaker variant. Spider-Man. Dr. Afra number 35. Variant cover. That one probably looks a little familiar to you. It's an homage tribute cover. Amazing Spider-Man 32 variant cover. Here's the regular cover for Dr. Afra 35. Part of the Dark Droids story arc seems to be popular. Black Panther number three. Three. Black Panther number three. Storm number four. That is the regular cover. couple of those don't need to overdo it on that fantastic four annual number one regular cover well, we'll take a look inside very very red and green a lot of red and green that's good should be several of those fantastic four is Way more popular in this shop, I think, than uh, a lot of places. Edge of Spider-Verse. No. Amazing Spider-Man, number 32. Deceptive Duck variant. What the heck? Stop doing this. That is so confusing. Because I'm bagging board the stuff, so you can't even see this. I have to put a sticker on it that says what it is. Moon Knight, City of the Dead, a number two. And Invincible Iron Man, number nine. We still got two boxes to go. This one's not very heavy. Oh, well. Donnie packed the last box. It went pretty well. Hopefully he did an okay job on this one. I always jinx myself when I say that. So I should not say that. Packing slip. I was told this is not an invoice. This is a packing slip. Here's the thing. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Stranger Things. Number two. This will be the IDW mailer. The box, or I guess it's a box. No, mailer. Star Trek Strange New Worlds. The Scorpius Run. It's number one. We'll look inside. Goodness, that's busy. I 
like this. I like the, the, the art in that. That looks kind of cool. Yeah, Star Trek number 11. My Little Pony Classics Reimagined. Whoa. The Unicorn of Odd. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say this is a Wizard of Oz story. It's number one. We'll look inside. They appear to be following the yellow brick road. Pinkie Pie is the scarecrow. All right. Good stuff there. That was the regular cover. Here is cover B. And the one in 10 retailer in since retailer incentive. You're not in Ponyville anymore. All right. Last box for our unboxing. Lots of comics this week. It scares me when that happens because I've gotten a huge bill and uh, got to try to get that money back. Donnie packaged this one as well. Been doing a great job so far, Donnie but you should put the paper all the way around and not just push the shit to the corner and pack around that. Stop doing it, Donnie. All right. Full disclosure, I do not know Donnie. All right. Here we go. Got some shiny Immortal Thor. Bling, bling. Gosh. That's worthy of a tappy tappy. Thunderous tappy tappy for the God of Thunder, Immortal Thor, number one. Foil variant. Look how shiny. I'm keeping that. That's me. I'm keeping that. Probably only got one because they're super expensive. What's the cover price on that sucker? Like, they'll put the regular cover price on it. I don't know. It's $6.99. But the margins are way smaller, so when you see the with the dealers, comic dealers marking those up higher, it's because the margins are way smaller than they were, than they are on the other ones. Um, we've had to pay almost full cover price. Amazing Spider-Man number three hundred, shiny bling bling foil variant. Of course, reprints the first Venom, thunderous tappy tappy on that. Thick. In fact, it is suspiciously thick. I don't remember Spider Man 300. Well, I don't remember Spider Man 300 being that much thicker. I don't know. Whatever. Moving on. Immortal Thor, number one. Regular cover by Alex Ross. Let's take a look inside. To Midgard. That's probably a spoiler. I don't know. That happens, whatever that is. And last. Amazing Spider-Man 300. Facsimile edition. Regular non-foil cover. And this one is cover price is $6.99. And then the uh, cover price on this one. Well, this one doesn't even have one. That I see. Right? But anyhow... Foil costs more. That's it. That's our show for the week. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye.